Hello everyone, Professor Almeida from Long Beach City College and in this video we're going to do a demonstration of the Cyber Patriot scoring engine in Linux and I've brought along a couple of students to show you here. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Melissa. Hi, I'm Blair. Hello, I'm Matthew. And today we're going to be showing you a scoring engine for Cyber Patriots for Linux. So the students at Cyber Patriots will be given a image, a Linux image, with built-in vulnerabilities. And each time they fix a vulnerability, the, uh, our engine will recognize that and update the index.html file to show them that they've gotten their point. And you can see right there that we just, it'll just be on the desktop. They can just click that to see their score and the engine will run in the background every 60 seconds to update their score. Here we have three vulnerabilities. The first is to remove Alice from the users on the system. The next one would be to check the SSH config file to make sure that the correct port is being used. Here you can see that out the removed Alice has is showing on the HTML file, and the uh, user received a point. Now we'll just set the firewall. We'll enable it, and that will give us our final point. We just need to wait for the engine to update. It should be updated now. There we go. Now if someone reintroduces a vulnerability, will the scoring engine take away the points? Yes, it will. We can just add Alice back. And at 443, it will update. Now if someone is looking to create their own practice or competition image for themselves or for their team, what do they need to do with this scoring engine? We will have a config file that will allow you to choose which vulnerabilities you'd like to install and check, and a setup file that they can run to install all the vulner vulnerabilities. Yeah, let's see if that has updated. It'll update at 4.43. There we go, it removed the point for removing Alice. And so folks, it looks like we have a working scoring engine in Linux. If you have any further questions, you can contact me at jalmeda, that's J-A-L-M-E-D-A, -E at lbcc.edu. Thank you for watching.